Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and my craft table. So today's video is going to be video number two of Halloween crafts. And I have four crafts. One of them is an iron-on project, but we are going to go ahead and get started right now. So grab yourself a hot steaming mug of your favorite brew and let's get going. Okay, for my first craft, um, it is a mirror and I can absolutely leave everything up. However, you'll see camera equipment and under here you would see some lighting. So I'm trying not to blind you, but um, this mirror, I believe, let's see, I got this at the Target dollar spot. Now this particular mirror was $5. It's called a novelty mirror. And I don't know about you guys, but at my Target, there's definitely no more left. And I wasn't real sure what I was going to do with this mirror, but I thought it was such a fun, fun shape. So again, I'm just trying to keep the glare out of your eyes with the lighting. So um, anyway, this is the mirror and it's like a dark slate gray. It kind of has a wood grain look to it as well. And then this little beveled edge and of course a little hanger on it. So what I thought I would do would be to put this on the mirror. And I'm gonna be sticking that down here in the corner. I've gone ahead and weeded out the designs today for time since my to-do list is so busy and so this is kind of what I thought it would just kind of sit nestled in here or I guess we could nestle it down in there just like that all right let me grab some transfer tape so I'm going to use the um, Caesar transfer tape um, again I tried this in one of my last videos and I'm still thinking about, you know, do I like it or not? But I do like the option to try it out using a sheet. Um, I think this is a great idea for manufacturers to create sheets of their products so that you can try them. And then if you're not real sure you like it, you haven't invested in a large roll. By the time I'm done with this one sheet, I will decide whether or not I like it. And then I can always order more if that's the case. Okay, so I don't want the static. You know how when you're crafting and you go to put your transfer tape down and then there's like static in the air? So it likes to like suck your vinyl up onto it before you're ready. That's why I put my hand there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and burnish down the front and the back, just like I always do. And this vinyl is called Slate Gray. It is from Expressions Vinyl. And um, like I said, I weeded off camera this time so that... I could just spend my time crafting and chatting, but it weeds really, really well. And all my little, my little um, dots stayed right where they needed to be. I didn't have to go fish them off of the vinyl. So good deal. Okay, this is ready. I'm going to move that to the side for just a moment. Now I am going to, let me cover up the Okay, that's where the light is. So it, what I am going to do is I'm going to clean this mirror one more time. I cleaned it last night. And sorry if I am blinding you with that light. Oh, but goodness, look at that shine. That is amazing. Okay, so that's all done. And let's grab this. Yeah, did you see the, did you see the static? <laughs> oh goodness, it's getting on that time of year. Okay, oh, and what's funny is I was looking through my stash. Um, so I have bought a few things for crafting for fall, but then I decided to stop buying 
uh, blanks, etc., and use what I have because uh, we will be moving in about oh six to eight weeks. But this slate gray is the exact color of this. Isn't that hilarious? I didn't even know that I had an exact match. So I decided, well, okay, we will just use that. And I'm just gonna stick that down in there. I'm getting as close to the edge as possible. And I know that really, I could have curved it or whatever, but I think it's fine just the way it is. And then I could just leave all the little things. Now we're just going to peel up. Perfect. Okay, let me put this back down and let me get you. Sorry about the light. Oh my goodness. I don't mean to blind you. But there you go. I put a spell on you. And that gray is an exact match. I just love this. This is the end of craft number one. And I did forget to mention earlier, but I this particular SVG was in design space. So I will link the design space file directly in the description below along with a list of all the materials, etc., cetera, um, except for the mirror, obviously. But um, there two of the designs that I have today, you can get them directly out of Design Space. And the, others, the other two I got off of Design Bundles, and I will at least give you the link down in the description. So if you're wanting to go purchase those like I did, you'll be able to do that. But there it is. Okay, let's move on to craft number two. Okay, for craft number two, I'm going to be making a little decorative towel for the kitchen. And I'm just using the Sublimation Blank uh, Kitchen Towel from Hobby Lobby. I love these because when they are so cost effective, they're $1.49. And they measure 17 and 17.87, uh, so almost 18 inches by almost 28 inches. So they are a pretty good size. Now I did make one of these for fall in an earlier video. Um, I will link that video for you as well, but it just came out great. I used the Cricut Iron-On printable vinyl, which I actually really like. I've used it several times now and I'm very pleased with it. And so, now as far as the kitchen towel is concerned, I don't know about you, but my family, we use kitchen towels like they're going out of style. But you know, like every, um, every kitchen that has decorative towels, the rule is don't use the decorative towel. And um, I'm not sure like, I don't really know what the cleaning instructions for these are because, oh, here we go. They are 100% polyester, machine wash cold with light colors, do not bleach, warm iron, tumble dry low. So the, the thing with, if you were to use these for like just regular kitchen towels, you, it says you can't bleach them. I'm not sure why, but... There we go. So these particular towels that I get from Hobby Lobby, no one is allowed to use them and they just look pretty. So I'm just gonna take my Easy Press Mini and I'm just gonna heat up this surface and then I'm gonna lit roll it. And I am leaving it, it is already folded in thirds and I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that the way it is. That way, it's already folded, ready to go. I don't have to kind of figure out where, you know, the middle and stuff is. So I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll this. Great. All right, so the next thing, I'm just gonna set this aside for just a moment because I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. But this is the 
um, SVG. This is in Design Space, and in my particular file, I've already put um, like an offset behind it and turn and flattened it, so it'll be one ginormous piece, and that way I wouldn't have to weed out all these little things. So I thought about doing black glitter. You guys know I love my Caesar black glitter, but I just I wasn't feeling it today and I do have the printable vinyl so why not so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stick this in here I'm just gonna trim off this um, I don't know about you but I have used some um, washi tape to take smaller pieces of the printable vinyl and the printable iron-on and the sticker paper. And what I've done is in a full sheet of copy paper, you know, like I have put it where it needed to go, especially if I just needed a small strip. So I save, I do save these for those times where I just need a small strip of the material because then I can just literally Put it down on a piece of paper. I can wash you that down. It'll go through my printer just fine. And then I can utilize all of the materials. So just, it's worked for me. I, you know, I'd say try it out with your printer. You know your printer best. You know your settings best. But um, I do save these because, you know, materials, the cost, well, I would rather, you know, save a little bit of money here and there. Now, parts like this, I don't really save those because, you know, those are a little more um, harder to, to work with. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim that off. And this does weed just like, you know, regular vinyl. And I, you just are very gentle and you go around, it's almost like, um, I don't know if you've ever gotten a, a cake from a bakery where they used rice paper to airbrush like a picture or something on. Um, this is what that feels like to me. Or maybe like um, really super thin wonton wrappers. I don't know. It's, I, but anyway, I like it. I've had good success with it. So here is my design and see how I'm going to hold it this way because that way you can't really, but you can see where this is the offset that went around the design so I wouldn't have to weed anything other than that. And I'm going to bring this friend back in. Here we go. And I've got my Easy Press Mini on low. The other thing I'm going to do is very, very carefully. I'm going to lift up the corner and then I'm going to gently remove this from its carrier sheet without stretching. Okay. It's real important that you that you don't stretch the printable iron-on, but it just peels off so beautifully, just like that. Excellent. Okay, time to get down to business. Let me move this over. All right. And just in case you're wondering, it's about six inches um, across. So I made this just slightly less than six inches. I'm just going to put that here in the middle and kind of, you know, as close to the bottom as possible. I don't need it to be high up. I guess I could put about a thumb's width. Okay. Kind of look and see if I think that's level. Where, well, the line, the line where the spider web is hanging from. Okay, so I think that looks level. And then I'm gonna take my little Teflon sheet um, you know, this is that one that I purchased from Dollar Tree, and wow, it has been such a good purchase. And I'm just going to go 
very gently around my design. And you don't have to go for very long. Okay, I'm gonna check that. Okay, all of my edges are indeed down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over. So I find that I have a lot of success when I turn my iron-on projects over. So this side I used the Teflon sheet so that I wouldn't directly touch the vinyl. And then I'm, this side I've got, you know, a couple of layers here. So I'm just going to give this a good pressing back here. And I just find that doing both sides, um, my iron-on projects seem to last a really long, I've never had to redo an iron-on project yet. So this is just what I'm gonna continue to do. Make sure that you always monitor your project in front of you. And then I'm gonna place this face down on my glass mat, let it cool for just a second. You can literally feel the heat come out of this. All right, so here is my Hocus Pocus kitchen towel that's going to be so cute i'll take the fall one off put this on i'll probably make a different fall one to put on back after uh, to put back on after halloween so okay that is the end of craft number two let's move on to craft number three so for craft number three i'm going to make a decoration for my front door and this is one of the designs that i mentioned this i got from, um, actually it was part of a bundle that I got in design bundles for some Halloween door decorations. And I really liked this one. It just is simple and it's, I like the font, etc. So I will link the design bundles link for you in case you wanna do like I did and just go purchase it. And I don't think it was too much, but um, there, I just really liked this one compared to the few that I saw in Design Space. So this is, I've already weeded it out, and we're going to put that on a 10 inch round. This is from Hobby Lobby. So they come in like a pack of five. This right here is what the color is, and I put two coats of white chalk paint on the front. Now, this is, you know, thin. It, it does fine uh, on the front door, but it, it is thin. So I actually have one of those grapevine wreaths, you know, just the plain grapevine. There's nothing on it. And this is going to, I'm just going to hang this directly in the middle of that because this fits right inside that grapevine wreath. All right, let me, I'm gonna get out my masking transfer tape. And, okay, I am going to, let's see, I'm gonna do this. I'll do a little piece for the bottom. So this is a low tack transfer tape and I get this from Expressions Vinyl and I really like it. I use it anytime I do like a paper craft. So when I do cards or something where I'm doing vinyl or little things that require um, me to be able to transfer paper. So I'm gonna cut this off right here. All right. So anyway, the reason why I use it is because it is great. Um, it's really good for paper crafts and for painted surfaces. Plus it is, it is relatively low cost. And what I like about that is that I don't, I don't have to feel guilty if I just kind of use 
you know, use extra or use too much. All right. I think my hands have shrunk because my rings are so big. They just keep turning and getting in the way. Oh, good times. I guess I could take them off to do crafting, but I just leave them on all the time. So there's that, right? And then I'm just going to roll this back up. So basically, um, this is the roll and I've used quite a bit, but I mean, I've had this for a really good while. Okay. So next, just like any other, I'm going to burnish this down. So at the time of filming right now, I still have a good seven ish days before I can put this on my door. And um, I'm so excited for putting this on my door and it'll be nice. And then I will make an, another one for fall. So I'll have some more fall crafts coming out. Um, I probably will have a little bit more Halloween. There's a couple more things that I wanted to make this year. And so those will be coming out soon. All right. So it is low tack. I'm going to grab my weeding tool in case I have to help any of the vinyl just kind of stay on the transfer tape. So took me a little longer than I expected, but that's okay. Everything is good. Now I am going to bring in this right here. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the excess. That way it's not, you know, in my line of sight. It's just kind of and you don't have to, you certainly can just use it the way it is. But I like to get rid of excess transfer tape, regardless of the kind that I use. It's 10 wide. So I'm going to use this five here. I'm going to use that as my center. And so that'll be pretty easy. I think that I think that looks pretty center. Okay, I'm going to go with it. We're going for it. All in. Perfect. And then this just peels up really nicely. And my paint does not peel up. Okay. I guess that was a shadow playing with my eye. It looked like it was not staying down, but it did. Okay, and then this one here. Now, if you're doing, if you're doing like paper crafts or something, you you can reuse this transfer tape a little bit. But when I do this on painted surfaces, I don't reuse it because kind of like any other wood project. It always leaves some kind of like film or something. So to hang this, I'm going to actually use some really pretty ribbon that I, that I got yesterday from Joanne. And I was super excited because it was seriously on sale, like 60% off. So this was 
um, this was $5.99, but I think I, I paid less than $3 for this. So, okay. Um, you can see that it has the traditional colors of Halloween, and I actually don't need a whole lot. So, I only need, like, above, above here, I only need about one inch to show so I really only need I only need like that much okay so I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it off right here where that green is and then I'm gonna fold up this bottom part here like this and I'm just folding it so that the bottom is, you know, kind of tucked in there a little nicely. Okay. I feel like a, my voice is very scratchy today, so I apologize if I sound scratchy. All right, so that's all I need. It's perfect. I got all three colors. Yay. And um, I'm glad this is going on my door because that's loose glitter. <laughs> I normally only work with glitter iron on, but be it as it may. Okay. I think I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. So this is just a little silicone deal. And I don't want to risk having my ribbon be cattywampus to the point that you know it's like over here so i'm gonna put the glue directly on top like right here and then i'm gonna go ahead and set this down and then then i'll turn it over and put the rest of the hot glue that i need okay, so let's give that a try and i'm using this little silicone thing because the hot glue does not stick to it Okay, here we go. All right. And then, so the, any hot glue that I use just comes right off this little silicone thing. I got this at the Dollar Tree in the cosmetic part. I can also hold it down like this and not burn my fingers. So that's good. Okay, so let's see where we need some more hot glue. I'm going to bring this back. Okay, and I'm just going to press that down. Okay. And then... I'm just going to stick this on my glass mat and let it get nice and cool. I'm not going to bring in the grapevine. Well, I don't know. I'll see. I will grab the grapevine wreath and if I can manage to show you on camera, like if it'll fit mostly, then you'll get the idea. But I'll do that at the end. Okay. All right. So this is craft number three. That came out really good, and I love the Halloween colors for this ribbon. I just love that. I think that's great. And it's going to look fantastic in the grapevine wreath that's already on the doors. Finale craft that's next is amazing. Um, I'm so excited. I have been sitting on this one for a while. So let's go ahead and get started, and then we'll have our project showcase. So for our fourth and final craft, I am going to take a sign. This is a just a wood sign that I actually found at one of my local thrift stores. Um, I wasn't even looking for a sign and I saw it and I thought, oh, that would be great, but I just had to paint over it. So um, I can barely, barely, barely see a shadow of what is under there, but that is okay. Um, this is the SVG. And I will link this down in the description for you. This one, as well as the 
the door round we just did, the haunted home, both of those came from design bundles. So these are not, I'm not able to put these in my design space link for you, just the two that are in design space. I can link that entire project for you. And that way you'll already have the flattened um, SVG for the towel. But okay, so here is this. It's gonna look like this when we're done. And I am trying to decide the best way to do this because that is actually this, the exact width. So I'm wondering if I can literally just do it all at one time. I'm gonna roll this out again. I have found that by rolling out this tape, I get the most success where I basically lay it down up, you know, I lay it down onto the tape instead of laying the tape onto, um, you know, the image. So, okay, I'm going to line this side up and that side up. Okay, so this is white. Um, this is Expressions Vinyl Series 51 Permanent. This is just white vinyl. And I love that the carrier sheet is blue because it makes it really easy to see what you're doing when you're weeding your design. Okay, now I can, I can cut this off, put those over there. This gets rolled back around, and then I'm just going to put this right back here on the roll to use for the next time I have a paper craft. Okay, so just like all my other designs, I am just burnishing down the front and the back and okay so here on the end this part that i'm going to trim off anyway i am going to go ahead and trim it off now and i'm going to use it along here where i need a little bit extra and that way i can get everything on there really nicely. So just got a little overlap there. So now it's like one cohesive piece of masking transfer tape. So now hopefully these, this will weed relatively easy. I mean, not weed, that it'll stick relatively easy. Check that out. That is awesome. Okay, I just have to say this. This is Expressions Vinyl Series 51 Permanent in white. The black that I used earlier for the door round was Cricut. And this one is sticking to my masking tape a lot nicer than the Cricut one. Not that I don't like my Cricut vinyl or that I don't use it, but I just like to note the differences in vinyls and I seem to have the best luck. I didn't even need my weeding tool to do that. That's great. Unlike the black one earlier where I had to use my weeding tool. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this in and I think I'm gonna stand up and then I'm gonna hold my breath. <laughs> but what I did in the SVG is, uh, or when I cut it, is I did cut it exactly here and here. So if I line up this corner, then everything else should line up perfectly. So let me move back a little bit 
and we are going to hold our breath that that I get this So this is just going to go right in that corner over there. This is going to go along that top edge there. So everything is down and I am going to go ahead and just burnish just a little bit. I don't want any of these spider webs to come up. I am so pleased. I got this sized exactly. Oh, note. Okay. In in when if you purchase this, it's a little more square than it is rectangle like I did. So I made it that size I needed. Then I went in and I selected just the word welcome and I did have to like make it not as wide because it had pulled out the welcome resizing this whole thing had made welcome look a little too big, almost like it was warped. So I just selected the word welcome, made that with a little bit um, shorter until I liked the way it looked. It was super easy. Everything else, um, I think I did bring this one down vertically so that my spider wasn't so squished. But other than that, I, I really, really didn't have to resize anything. Okay, so I'm going to pull up these extra pieces. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So cute. And I don't mind spiders. Spiders are all right. I know a lot of people do not share that opinion. But when I lived in Texas, there were so many bugs and spiders were very helpful in keeping bugs at bay. And that's even with pest control guys, it was like, but we lived in a really, really, really wooded area. So that was probably a large part of it. You know, we weren't in an urban area. We were more, well, we were in a small city, but our, our house was like in a more wooded rural part of town even though it, we were kind of in town it felt like it, we were way out in the country because it was a small town and it was super wooded i loved it it was great i just didn't like the books or the heat <laughs> the humidity yeah those things heat humidity and bugs no thank you that is on the no thank you list and so really the only thing I miss about Texas is I have friends there still. We have a little bit of family there. And of course, Mexican food and margaritas, which I can get where I live. But there's just something about Mexican food and margaritas in Texas. Look at this. It came out so good. And that was super easy. This was really easy to weed, even these little bitty web pieces right there. Oh goodness, okay, you have to try this craft. Definitely have to try it. This is 10 out of 10. Okay, well, this is the end of craft number four. So I'm gonna go and get all of the things that were done today so we can enjoy the project, project showcase and choose the one that we like best, okay? Here is the project showcase for today. So our first little craft was this mirror that's all fun. And I'm trying to, again, keep the light out of your eyes. Oh, it's okay. And then, oops, sorry. So this one says, I put a spell on you. It's got some little dots, a star, and a witch hat. This is super, super cute. Love it. Then we did the Hocus Pocus Brewing Company. This was printable vinyl. It did, oh, iron-on printable vinyl. It did great, I love it. 
So these two will be, uh, the design space link will be down in the description for you for ease. And then the next two crafts, we had the Home Sweet Haunted Home. And um, I decided not to bring my ginormous um, grapevine wreath in because I don't know that it would fit under the camera. It's kind of a, anyway, this will hang nicely right here from here. It'll just hang in the middle of that open space of my grapevine wreath. It'll look really good. So you'll see that definitely in the thumbnail. This was fun. This was really easy. And then this one here, welcome to our web. This was a repurposed um, welcome sign that I got from my local thrift store. I just painted it black and put my white permanent vinyl on it. This um, SVG and this one, um, I did purchase them from Design Bundles. So I'll link those down in the description for you in case you are interested in purchasing them for yourself. But this was what we had going on today. And I, you know, I think I think this is my favorite. So let me know down in the comments, like which one is your favorite? Um, I think this one is my favorite. I just love the little spiders and I love the little webs. It's just, it's cute. So it, yeah, let me know down in the comments, which one was your favorite craft of the day? Okay, so wanted to thank you all for spending your time with me today, hanging out while we crafted and chatted don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd love to have you as part of the crafting community. And feel free to share this video with any of your crafting friends who might find this entertaining, valuable, in, or inspirational. So I will be having probably a little bit more Halloween, just barely, maybe another card or two, and then we'll jump back into fall and then Christmas crafts. So we've got a lot coming out here and that is going to be in between teaching and moving. So um, uh, I will need to be doing some crafting to keep myself sane. And this is all that I have for you today. So until I see you in the next video, as always, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.